All right, you guys, we're going to talk about a hidden gem in the 2021 NFL draft. And uh, to me, this guy plays like Randy Moss. Now, I'm not saying that he's going to be Randy Moss. We already know that Randy Moss is a Hall of Famer. We're talking about qualities. We're talking about resemble. We're talking about comparisons. We're talking about attributes. We're talking about talent. Tamarian Terry is box office. I don't know if you saw this guy play at Florida State University, but I've been back chilling in the cut, watching this guy tape for several weeks. When I tell you that this guy resembles Randy Moss, I mean it, guys. Randy Moss was a freak of an athlete. And I believe Randy averaged, when he was at Marshall, around 19 a catch. Just about the same thing that Terry is doing. Averaging like 20 a catch. Randy Moss, I believe, played only one, I believe, one season in college. And... Randy Moss in that season with Marshall. Randy Moss had 96 catches for 1820, 1,820 yards with 26 touchdowns. So comparing somebody to Randy Moss is definitely it's tough. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, why are you comparing this guy, T.A., to Randy Moss? When you look at his playmaking ability, this guy got it all. Yeah, there's things he needs to work on. Being able to expand his route tree. But when you're talking about a hidden gem and you're talking about somebody, to me, if the Detroit Lions was to draft Tamari and Terry. I know, I know, I know, guys. I know you're saying, what about Jamar Chase? What about Jalen Waddle? What about Devonta Smith? What about Rashard Bateman? What about, what about, what about? And I'm saying to you, like I would say to anybody, you have to know talent when you see it. When I see Terry play on a football field, I see a guy that's aggressive. I see a guy that wants it. I see a guy that got the it factor. I see a guy that wants to be a savage. And definitely he has the attributes of Randy Moss. Now, you know, some can say, hey, you know, maybe T.O. too, a little T.O. in there. But we know how good Randy Moss is. We're talking about a receiver. Randy Moss is so good and was so good in his career and probably one of the best vertical threats in the NFL. And I see that in Terry. I see that Terry, if he drafted to the right team and is utilized right, the nine route would probably be open all day for him. Yeah, he'll catch a couple middle. Uh, slants and things of that nature there's other things that I believe that he can do as well I saw, I saw him catch a lot of uh, wide receiver screens and take him to the house he has a second motor and a second gear and I'm just telling you man if this guy could be the Detroit Lions new number one and replace a guy like Kenny Galladay man that, that would be so awesome man and so tremendous man to have a talent like this kid because sometimes people miss out on the hidden gems, man. And then this guy goes to another team and balls out. I hope that the Lions will do their homework. I hope that they'll do their due diligence. But when you see this guy's attributes and you go look up Randy, Randy Moss uh, and what he did at Marshall. And I'm talking about not from the stats of just saying what up the numbers that Randy Moss put up. But I'm talking about being able to be a vertical threat. Being able to get the ball down the field and the guy executing the play and being a playmaker at it 
it's not too many guys in the NFL that can take an 80 or 70 yard pass to the house like Randy Moss used to do and T.O. used to do as well. And that's what I mean about stretching the field and stuff like that, man. Terry is box office, man. I don't care what anybody says. This kid has freakish abilities. And if he is able to be drafted to the right team, which I would hope that the Detroit Lions are look, taking a look at him. I know that it's a lot of wide receivers in this draft class. And I know that, you know, they don't have to take him. I understand that. But I'm telling you, man, the size is there. 6'4", pretty much between 6'3", 6'4", 200 and some pounds. And the guy is a flat out burner. He's an athlete. And I don't think that if they happen to go in a different direction, if you take the offensive lineman with the number one uh, pick or the seven pick overall, or you decide to take a linebacker, because I believe that Detroit has two picks in the third round. If Terry's there, you got to grab him. If Scary Terry is there, you have to grab him. This guy is a hidden gem, man. Please, guys, go look at his film. Study this guy. Get to know him. Because I've been talking about this guy for several weeks. And I keep just coming back to his tape again and again and just saying, man, if this guy can be a part of the Detroit Lions. He would definitely change some things. I think he would definitely be a number one receiver. I know the Detroit Lions picked up a couple of receivers. But uh, when I look at this guy, I look at a guy that flat out has talent. He's raw. The physical tools are there. It's just about being drafted to the right place. Now, Detroit has, you know, it's been a while since they drafted a guy like Calvin Johnson. And we know how fast Calvin was and we know how good Calvin Johnson was but at the same time when it's time for the future you have to look at a guy like Tamari and Terry because believe me guys this guy is legit this guy is the real deal and he's a hidden gem in the 2021 NFL class and it reminds me of Randy Moss I'm out of here peace